A few days ago, we picked up this Jackery Explorer 1000 V2 at an incredible Black Friday deal on Amazon. It was going for just $350. We wanted to run a test to see how long it could power our full-size KitchenAid refrigerator. This one in particular is a 24.8 cubic feet side-by-side -side that we picked up about a year ago at Lowe's. The results of this test will surprise you. Let's begin. Before buying the Jackery, I did quite a bit of research. I watched a ton of YouTube videos of people running their refrigerators. The reason why is because in an emergency situation, I believe the refrigerator is the most important thing to run. One of those videos was from George Whittaker. He ran this very specific Jackery model on his full-size refrigerator. And his results came out that he could run his refrigerator for about six to maybe seven hours. My results on my refrigerator in my Jackery were very different from his. Please do stay till the end to see those results. We began our test on Friday at around 11.40 a.m. We ran the Jackery in the refrigerator while we put together some decorations for the holiday, which I'll put in somewhere in this video. As you can see, the refrigerator is running and it's drawing at about 67 watts. Originally, it did draw about 100 watts. I am including time-lapse footage of the display on the Jackery throughout this whole video so that you get an idea of the demand from the refrigerator to the Jackery and for you to see how the Jackery was performing throughout the test. I did notice that the initial 10% of the battery life was drawn relatively quicker than the rest of the battery life. Or maybe that was just me, I'm not too sure. But do keep that in mind as you watch the timestamps on this video. At this point, we're slightly past one hour and we're down to 92%, currently drawing zero watts as I think the refrigerator is finally cool enough. Here you can continue seeing time-lapse footage of the display for the following one hour. I will do an update at two hours. We have reached the two hour mark of our test. It is 1.44 p.m. and our battery is at 87%, currently drawing 70 watts. Here you're gonna notice that Jackery is already at 75%. The reason why is because the cell phone that I was using in front of the Jackery to record is borrowed and I couldn't keep it in front all day. It looks like we're at 72%, 71%, drawing around 70 watts. And that's the case throughout almost the whole video. It's between 50 and 70 when the refrigerator is running. And when it is not, it is at 0 watts. At this point in the test, we are at our 6-hour mark. And our battery is at 64%. Also, we got done with the holiday decorations. Let me show you. At this point in the video, I began to become wary that I would have to stay up into the night to watch the end of this test. Right now it is currently, we're at our eight hour mark and the battery is just now at 50%. At this point in the test, we are now at our 10 hour mark and I am incredibly happy. The reason why is because we bought this Jackery for the sole purpose of powering our refrigerator through the night 
in a grid down situation, which has happened twice this year here in Houston, one because of the tornado and the second time because of a hurricane. We don't want to leave our gas power generator running outside through the night because it could disturb our neighbors, it could attract attention, and it could also be a little bit of a safety hazard. We have now reached the 11 hour mark and our Jackery still has 32% and it alleges it could run for another maybe four hours. The problem here is that I could not stay up through the night waiting for it to completely run out. So what I did was restart the test. How did I restart the test? Well, because I was fearful that one Jackery could not power my refrigerator through the night, I ended up buying two. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to leave the second Jackery that is completely full through the night. Now that I know it can do at least 10 hours, I'm going to wake up the very next day and continue the end of a full and complete test. And the second reason why I chose to do this second test was because I was a little skeptical that it could run my refrigerator for so long based on all the other results that I have seen online. So I wanted to verify and make sure that it wasn't a fluke and that maybe my first Jackery was much better than the second one. I did this test just to make sure that and verify that I could run my refrigerator on just one Jackery in the case that I had to say let a neighbor borrow my second Jackery. Now I am not going to bore you with a second test all over again. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to wake up tomorrow between 7 and 8 a.m. show you where it is at and speed through the test and I will do a quick time lapse of the display all the way to zero so that one again we can verify that the results are true and that a Jackery Explorer 1000 V2 could power a full-size refrigerator for more than 12 hours. Stay tuned. It is now the next morning. It is 7.51 a.m., the second Jackery that we left running last night from 100% is at 39%. It has been just over 9 hours. The first Jackery that we did the test in, we had it running for 11 hours and it is still at 32% like we left it yesterday since we're not drawing any power out of it anymore. This second test is the one we're going to take it all the way till almost zero. We're at 39%. It has been nine hours. Please stay tuned. We're going to take this second Jackery all the way till pretty much zero. Okay, quick update. It is now 8.30 a.m. Remember, we left the second Jackery last night powering the refrigerator since 10.30 p.m. It has officially been 10 full hours with this second Jackery, and it is still at 35%. Quite incredible, if you ask me. We're going to take it till the end. Okay, we have reached the end of our test with the second Jackery V2. It is 12.26 p.m. Remember, we started this test last night at 10.30 p.m. That means we have run the refrigerator for a whole 14 hours and we still have 14% left. The Jackery claims that it can still run the refrigerator for another two hours. In conclusion, this Jackery Explorer 1000 V2 should be able to run my KitchenAid full refrigerator for anywhere from 14 to maybe 15 hours. This is gonna be perfect for those times that I don't wanna run my gas generator outside, whether it's because it's night outside or because it's raining. Remember, this Jackery can run your coffee maker no problem. This one demands 1500 watts.